Yeah, the, the buildings are spread out pretty good, but um, there's a lot of rustic, rustic looking buildings. I don't think it's a town. Oh, there too, yeah. There's rustic looking buildings. That too. We just, uh, this road is, this road may have had more, more traffic. sun goes down I should get an hour of good light. I'll probably make it to the destination before that sun goes over the horizon. It's a long, long sun. It continues to get long. It's got another month of getting longer and longer. Still pretty much an early summer, late spring. probably have no problems running over animals on the road too. It's just that type of aggressive pattern in people's behavior. No problems causing a lot of chaos on the road. I, I can't say I've ever, I can't remember the last time I hit an animal and killed it. I know I hit a deer, but that was at a stop sign. I don't recall killing any animals on the road. There's plenty of other maniacs who do that. A lot of tall grass and cows barely, barely, you're, you're only able to see the top half of those cows. You're only able to see the top half of a lot of cows around these parts. The grass is growing so fast uh, um, and it, it's, it's well ahead of the cow's ability to, to chomp it down. Yeah, there's definitely not, not a Walmart in every city. Between here and Quincy, I'm interested in checking out the, the boyhood home of Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens. I've read a little bit about that guy. And there's a there's a birthplace that they're keeping protected as a her historic point. Or a childhood home or whatever. I mean, yeah, he was around this area, but he also he also did a lot of traveling too. Turkey on the field. Point eight miles to her Swiss Herman. I gotta slow down or something. Forty-five. Just 
for the curve. Swiss, taste the tradition. Swissmeats.com. just never thought about before laying on my back and then pushing against the ground with my my hands I'm trying to do the neck bridge trying to push against the ground with my elbows it's rewarding and and uh, I think it's fixing my back I, but I think I did permanent damage and I'm just repairing what's uh, salvageable in my back at this point. I don't know how, uh, I'm gonna try to strengthen it as much as I can. I've neglected it for years, for decades. Cause I've never really given the back exercise much thought. I did, I, I was getting into the, the picnic table fitness, hanging my torso over the edge of the picnic table, keeping my feet strapped in. And that was good. But it was an incomplete approach to exercising my back. And now, now I'm finding more of a complete approach. And, and I'm enjoying the, the picnic table fitness a little bit more because I'm, I'm using more of a complete approach. It's not just that single exercise of hanging over the edge of a picnic table. Now I'm doing a little bit more. And I'm looking for more opportunities to do that because I sit in my car too much and I've needed to have a be much better um, defense. I needed a much better way to counteract this this problem. It's kill it was killing me. Yeah, I'm seeing significant grapes being grown. This whole this a whole field of grapes here. Big large field. Nice big, big leaves, and then they want to waste the, the grapes on alcohol and ruin it. But I mean, I, I guess is it a pos is it possible to dehydrate those those wine grapes? Jesus, I trust in you. Yeah, more. or something. Very new grape growth, I guess. The experimental field. Yeah, as nice as it is to be out in the countryside, uh, the only way you can you can uh, take these roads is by vehicle because there's just no room to walk, bicycle. It's so dangerous. I got somebody riding me really close. Um, so they're driving very aggressively and, and I'm gonna give this person ahead of me uh, plenty of, of room it, um, but yeah it's it's a, this is a very narrow road and it doesn't it doesn't even look like that dangerous or, like they, they didn't they chose the narrowness because they just they just liked it it wasn't because uh, it's too, it, it, there's uh, not enough room to make a wider road for anybody who want, wanted to travel on foot. I'm a traveler, right? But you look at the, the way these roads are shaped, yeah, I mean, I don't have a right to drive as a privilege, but look at this, look at the roads. The road, the, um, and, and, and how people drive like maniacs. Interesting to me uh, to see these lawnmower collection places. 
I just passed one. I mean, this part of the country, yeah, lawn mowing is is more of a a duty. In fact, that guy's riding his lawn mower right now. It's more of a duty in these parts of the the U.S. Not so much the Southwest Desert. They're happy to see grass grow. They're busy trying to they're busy passing laws to protect the grass in the southwest. Whereas they make they make laws attacking the grass in these parts of the country. So they might give uh, lawnmowers uh, tax tax discounts and whatever. Because overgrowth is is pretty strong. Yeah, there's, there's people that really love collecting those lawnmowers. Okay, 45. That's the warning. This is the official 45 going down a hill. But I should slow down going up the hill. Oh, yeah.
behind. So I think I could probably get away with sleeping here overnight. It, it's a little rough. Oh my god. And there's Christian Academy. Library? Oh my god, a library moved in. That's new. Arriving at the destination on the way. The destination. So, um... Ooh, this looks rough. So how is it here? Can I get away with sleeping overnight? Yeah, that library's not going to have Wi-Fi. They're just building it. Well, I'm taking a chance. Right, there's a couple of cars here. There might be somebody sleeping in that RV. I want to sleep right here <clears throat> if I can get away with it. There's bathrooms with the construction. Then turn left. R055. In fact, while I'm sitting here, I kind of like that. I'm going to take a picture. R055 Ross. I think that's kind of neat because it sounds like it looks like Ross, but they use the five as S's. So I'm in Herman and I'm going to the Missouri River. There's a big parking lot and there's a Save a Lot grocery store. Orchelins over here. Oh my god, this is a climb. I might not be successful. Oh, oh something scraped. Something really scraped. I hope it wasn't too bad. <clears throat> That's frustrating. So yeah. Turn left on it's not that. Then it's not that far. First right. <sighs> I have the grocery store marked but I just need to go past it to get to find the park. Whoa! All right. One quarter mile, turn right on East First Street. Historical sites on the left, but what's coming up is looking historical as well. In fact, museum? Really? See, I do want to walk around here. I hope parking's not heavily regulated on the river. It didn't look too busy. I mean, it's just a river, it's not the ocean. Grape Expectations Guest House. It, it kind of looked like, I looked in at the cars, it looked like the mom is driving in the first car, and the daughter is following in her second car. Oh, no, they're going their separate ways. Well, whatever. I go straight. In one mile, turn right on East First Street. East First Street. Oh yeah, I want to do that. Okay, 4:30 for gas at Casey's. Huh? Five dollar gas coming up. Thirty. It smells uh, like a sewer around here. It smelled like flowers where I was. Now it smells like a sewer. 30. Not even 35. 30. Going down a hill at 25. I'll probably jump up to 40. And it's 25 at the bridge. 35. Almost 40, and I gotta drop it to 25. What a weird tone. I'll just keep her going, or not. Turn right at the stop sign. Well, it's a lot of red bricked buildings. 
armadillo died on the side of the road. Now, how is that possible at a stop in an intersection like this? <clears throat> That's a big bridge, but it's a big river. Uh, a lot of a lot of red buildings. Hey, wow, that house looks quite beat up. I want to take museum three blocks. I think I want to take a left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, jeez. What? Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, my bad. My bad. That guy was waiting for me to make my to make my left. He was like, "Oh, go ahead, buddy." Right in front of him. That's a one way. Thank God there was no cop. He was just waiting for me to make that mistake. Exit only? Jeez, and I really, I really uh, bit into that hook, line, and sinker. Okay, okay. Um, just whatever. There's, there's freaking parking over there. I don't know how to get there. So, we don't... Wait, I just take a right. There's nobody behind me, no cops, no nothing, right? Okay. Then, I guess, alright. I could just go in here. Oh my god, I almost went the wrong way down a one way. <laughs> and that truck was like... He really waited for me to, to, to do that. All right, all right, how does shade look? Uh, doesn't look good. I could get shade right under this tree or the next tree. I'll do the next tree. There's no, uh, yep, the regulation is that there's no overnight parking, that's it. Good deal. Gotta walk around that train. Oh man, I can't park very close to the tree. I I will be looking at some evening shade staying here all day. All right, 724, 5:30. Yeah.
So I'm thinking that I want to number, I want to number these one, two, three, four. I know that, uh, actually this is gonna be number three. Milk, milk is a number three. All right, I'm just gonna memorize. I'm just gonna memorize the numbers. This milk is a number three today. what it would be like to have a vehicle I could lay down inside on my back a nice hard surface turn right at the stop sign and then even take the first right even be able to spread out my arms at least at least uh, at, at the at the elbow but I don't have that so I'm looking for places where they have a little more privacy or whatever. Oh, is it stop? Okay. Okay. Jeez, I can't quite see so well. Turn right at the stop sign. situation with uh, making that bad turn because that was a one-way I, I was going out of if I had 